Good morning. Today's lesson is 6.1. Convert units of length. Our essential question, how can you use ratio reasoning to convert one unit of length to another? So here's a chart that's going to be really, really handy. One foot equals 12 inches. One yard equals 36 inches. One yard equals 3 feet. One mile equals 5,280 feet. And one mile equals 1,760 yards. You're going to want to refer back to this over and over. In the customary measurement system, some of the common unit lengths are inches, feet, yards, and miles. You can multiply the number by the appropriate conversion factor to convert between units. A conversion factor is a rate in which two quantities are equal but use different units. So let's unlock the problem. In a soccer game, Kyle scored a goal. Kyle was 33 feet from the goal. How many yards from the goal was he? We're going to have to convert 33 feet to yards. And remember that up here, one yard is equal to three feet. Oops. So you're going to choose a conversion factor. First, I'm going to think yards to feet. If I multiply the 33 feet by the conversion factor, the units of feet appear in a numer numerator and denominator, so you can divide these units before multiplying them. So we know that one yard equals three feet. So you're going to use the rate 1 over 3, so 1 yard for every 3 feet. Then I'm going to take the 33 feet and I'm going to multiply it times the 1 yard times 3 feet. Remember, whenever I have a whole number, I can just write a 1 underneath of it, right? So I have 33 feet over 1 yard, um, 33 feet over 1, and then I have times 1 over 3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to times 33 times 1, and I get 33, and then 1 times 1. So now I'm going to have let me do this. So I'm going to have 33, and this is going to be 3. So 33 divided by 3 is 11 yards, right? So Kyle was 11 yards from the goal. So how many inches from the goal was Kyle? Well, with inches, I know that... Let me lift this up. Whoa. I know that 12 inches equals 1 foot. So now I'm going to use a conversion rate of 12 over 1. So now I have 33 feet, and then we have it times 12 over 1. Again, I'm going to put the 1 under my 12. So I get 33 times 12, right? And 33 times 12 is 396. So Kyle was 396 inches from the goal. Metric units. You can use smaller processes to convert metric units. Metric units are used throughout most of the world. One advantage of using the metric system is that units are related by powers of 10. So we've got 1,000 millimeters is 1 meter, 100 centimeters is 1 meter, 10 centimeters is 1 meter, 1 decameter is 10 meters, 1 hectometer is 100 meters, 1 kilometer is 1,000 meters. So if you're looking, I'm multiplying essentially by the powers of 10, right? So example, a passenger airplane is 73.9 meters long. What is the length of the airplane in centimeters and what is the length in kilometers? Air alert. Be sure that you use the correct conversion factor. The units you are converting from should divide out, leaving only the units that you are converting to. So one way is to use a conversion factor. So we have 73.9 meters and we're doing centimeters. Well, 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. We saw that in our chart up here, right? So we're going to use the rate of 1 over 100, or 100 over 1, excuse me. Next, we're going to multiply 73.9 meters by the conversion factor and then divide out the common units before multiplying. So I'm going to use that conversion rate of 100 over 1. And when I do that, I have 73.9 times 100 divided by 1 is 73. 7,390. So 73.9 meters is equal to 7,390. Another way is just to use the powers of 10. So a metric units are related to each other by fact, fa factors of 10. So this is also another really good chart to have. So kilo is times 10 of a hecto. Hecto is times 10 of a deca. Meter is times 10 of a deca. Deca is times 10 a meter, centimeters times 10, and millimeters, and so on. But then when I go this way, I'm dividing. Right? It makes sense because it's the opposite. If I go this way, I'm, if I'm converting from this way down, I'm multiplying. If I'm converting from this way up, 
I'm dividing. So 73.9, and then now we're looking at kilometers. So here's my kilometers, and I'm starting in meters, right? So I'm going this way. Yes? Boom, boom, boom. So the kilometers are three places to the left of meters, right? There's meters. One, two, three. So that means I'm going to move my decimal over three times, right? So there's my decimal. One, two. There's not a number, or there's not a number there, so I have to add a zero and move it over one. So that's what they did here. Started here, I went one, two, added my, my zero, three. So the answer is going to be 0 0.0739. Okay, so the rest of the problems I want you to work with a friend, partner, or you can work with me. Again, if you are um, using Kilo, hector, deca, meter, deca, centimeter, and millimeter. Use this chart right here. Super, super important. If you're going this way, you're going to divide. And if you're going this way, you're going to multiply. And then also with the other chart, make sure that you're, if you're using the yards to centimeters, use the chart that was on the previous page to here. All right, and good luck.